we are Biotown, so we are uh, Ottawa's iteration of the biohacker space. I'm Jenny Medina, also known as Nina Ali. I own the Biohacking Village at DEF CON. I would like to talk to you about this community that I'm trying to start around bioprinting. I'm a cook, industrial designer, and bioenthusiast. Uh, my name is Pat. I'm from the Freak Lab, and as you might see, I'm a freaky people. First of all, David calls this a movement, but I wanted to know how many of you think that you're part of a movement already? He really challenged us and asked us, hey, you know, what is a movement? Or do you think you really are a movement? And if you are, you know, what are the definitions of success? And I thought that was a really powerful way for us to start this summit together. This community is so diverse. It's diverse culturally, diverse geographically, but it's also diverse in its opinion and perspective on basically every topic that you can think about related to biohacking. How many people in this room were at the first DIY Bio meetup? To me, the most inspiring thing is all the new faces. I feel like this group is sort of claiming ownership over a lot of new perspectives, and it's really exciting. I would like to see how to get more female programmers, female hackers, female artists. Technology is driven by humans, and the most important thing in the movement is the community. The key thing is ideas. So even if the experiment you do you know, involves you know, grinding up vegetables, the impact it has if your narrative is compelling if there's something to it, there's nothing stopping your ideas from going viral. The narrative is a way in which we translate our values into the capacity for collective action. How do we deal with the idea that biohacking is basically mad scientists? How do we reclaim this idea? How do we define what we do and how we're doing it? Explain to the world why we're saving it this weekend here. It's pretty awesome because you feel sometimes alone in your country or that you are doing something and the people looks at you and you are the weird people who is expecting to change the world too much from a garage. But you come here and many, many other people share the same dream. We want to do a community in Latin America, but also collaborate with other people from all the world. I think there was a common theme in that we all want to stay connected with the community, but that also we want to become recognized as serious organizations. How do community labs fit into this tapestry of science and society. Clearly we don't have the money advantage, um, we don't have the facilities and space advantage, but what we do have is an eclectic group of people with like various diverse experiences and skill sets. So biohacking to me ultimately is this, this kind of socioeconomic definition. It's like let's take this technology that is normally only in these certain very, very privileged institutions, you know, places like MIT, places like Harvard, and really bring that technology to the people. Really let folks that are not at the table, get them at the table so that they can be decision makers and agents of change as well.